So oh, hello, I'm just going to show you a very quick little tutorial on the difference between the Ultra Skin Brush with Appleseed Actions and the difference between that and the, I guess, Perfect Skin. I get asked a lot, what is the difference? What do they do? You know, is one better than the other? So I'm going to explain a few things about it. So the Ultra Skin Brush, I personally find, works well on closer subjects where the baby is close like this. and. If it, and it also works on, you know, a sitter session or even adults if they're close, like a portrait. But if this image was far away or, you know, it's like maybe a family photo with the baby in it and you're taking it at a distance, um, I would always recommend the Perfect Skin Brush. So I'm going to show you the difference here between the Ultra Skin Brush on this baby. Um, the only thing I did to this baby's image so far is I did a little bit of patching. It's not edited except for a preset applied. So I applied Appleseed 1 to this one, and that's it. So I haven't done any other corrections. I'm just going to go ahead and paint this on. So what I did is I hit play, go to layers here, make sure this is selected, and then you go over only the surface area of the skin. You don't want to get in the hair too much. Um, if the baby has those cute little white dots, you want to avoid that. Unless, of course, you know, that's not your style or the parents suggested otherwise, but all right. Okay. That was just a quick little brush on there. You can see the difference. All right. So obviously it's too much. So you're going to want to adjust the opacity until it looks the way you want. All right. So now I'm just going to shut that off, flatten it. And then I'm going to now show you what the perfect skin looks like. So if you find actually that, you, you know, you maybe took a photo and there's a lot of grain or noise, uh, you're not going to want to use the ultra brush. It, it doesn't work very well if you have a lot of grain in your photo. So if you're kind of trying to recover a photo and you're like, oh, this photo is a bit noisy or grainy, like how do I, how do I kind of save the photo? This would be the, the action you'd want to use is the perfect skin for the skin. It, it would just, yeah, just the ultra brush does not work great on on that on a super grainy or noisy photo all right there's a difference see it's it's a softer kind of a look compared to um the ultra brush so if anyone has any questions about this or i didn't go over what you were kind of hoping for just send me an email at appleseedphotography at outlook.com and i can help you there but till then i really hope that this little tutorial or little video explained a little more about the difference between the perfect skin brush and the ultra brush. All right, thank you and have a lovely day.